Is it ever acceptable to punch a kangaroo in the face? Now, normally I would say no. However, on this occasion, definitely. The kangaroo got what it deserved. We're all looking forward to seeing Max on a board. When, to our horror, it turns out to be something else altogether. Oh no! Here! Yeah. Hey! Where are we go, looking? Whoa, well, go, go! go. But all is not as it seems. The big buck actually has hold of the dog, not the other way around. Oh. Now, it's interesting because a kangaroo looks like it's it's it looks like it's just hugging him. But kangaroos, I've been told, are quite dangerous, and they uh, I've been told that they even will drown dogs in the river. Apparently, now, if this is my dog, pets are family. That dog will be saved. So, let's see what happens. As Greg runs in, we realise this could get dangerous. <laughs> the kangaroo's not letting go. The kangaroo's not letting go. Now, normally I would say, like I said, it's an animal, you know, treat it with respect. But when it's, you know, it's, it's holding on to the dog, that looks like it's a threatening behaviour. Especially after seeing the video, the kangaroo... There's a cat behind that screen. Um, especially when we saw the kangaroo boxing, which was completely wrong. But the way kangaroos do it, they kind of latch hold and then kick with their feet, which are, yeah, can rip open your guts. He's facing up. Let it go, Tonks, let's go. <laughs> He's literally punched him. And the kangaroo's like, makes himself even bigger and they they just look really weird when they're upright really really weird when they're upright but yeah just get out of there now the dog's coming just get them all out there well look. we're not sure what's going on here but the roo has the dog not luckily the kangaroo decides to give it up and, and go not the other way around but max calmly waits for his owner to come and help the buck roo Sees the odds stacking against him and tries to gut the dog with his claws so one notice. last time. His powerful arms. I didn't notice the kangaroo actually tried to kick the dog. See that. Now I'm sure you'll get probably um, Peter and all those sort of people who. Oh, he wasn't trying to hurt the dog. I'm sorry. If that is my dog, I will do what I can to to save it. And you can see he's just he's just bucked up and kicked, tried kicking him. Anchor the dog by the breastplate as Max doubles his efforts to escape. Finally, the Roo switches his attention to Tonks and sizes up the human to be his next victim. Tonks gives the kangaroo his space, but the cranky buck comes forward, ready to attack. To save himself, he launches a right hand to the kangaroo's snout. It's that, it's that. It, it's, it's when the kangaroo, he goes backwards and he, his tail sort of stops him falling completely backwards. Uh, it's just such a strange sight. The punch swivels the Roo's head as he throws his claws out to grapple and gouge. Then they eye each other off. Tonks makes the right decision again and backs off, leaving the buck stunned as to what has just taken place. He continues to stand his ground, like he has done many times before when fighting for breeding rights against other big boomers like himself. He eyes off Tonks again, possibly contemplating some revenge for the clip on the snoz. Luckily for everyone involved though, he decides enough is enough and goes about his day. What would you do if you were in this situation and that's your dog, your pet? Now, these dogs may be more farm dogs and they may not be seen quite as much like pets, I don't know. But what would you do if that's your dog in the arms of a kangaroo or even a different animal, I don't know. What would you do? Would you stand up and protect your dog? I know I would. I would certainly like to think I would anyway. Um, yeah, stand, you know, protect your protect your family, basically, in this. Um, yeah, let me know. What would you do? I'll catch you next time.